I may, if I may respond, my lord. My lord, kindly, kindly, with your permission. With your permission. Uh, my, my, my lord, you've made a ruling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let, let, you've made me, a hear, ruling. let me hear two people from this side. Okay. Then two from. You're one person. Dr. Kamilwa, please uh, say what you want to say and uh, be mindful of time, please. Yes, order. <coughs> sorry, sorry, you, my lords. The utterances by the Honorable Dr. Hamino uh, Council are. I'm, I'm giving you the titles. And unfortunately, they're inciting, they're insightful, they are trying to preempt matters that are not before this court. We do not know and we cannot speculate that anyone is going to be happy or unhappy about it. The sword of justice cuts both ways. There are those who are going to be happy. There are those who are going to be unhappy. That is how life is. But you cannot incite by saying from here, we will have protests. We will have what? We do not know of that. And unfortunately, my lords, I ask you to kindly restrain him from taking that route. With your kind permission, Your Honor. <coughs> Please sit down. Please sit down. We want you to know that we have rendered ourselves in this matter. We have rendered ourselves in this matter. 
and we are not going to open this matter for a further court proceeding. There are two applications before the court, one by Dedlo Chieng and one by Ndegwa. After Dr. Kamuna has spoken, we'll allow two people to respond, and then we'll make a ruling. My Lord, I was to also, uh, you, you indicated that two people, and I was prepared kind of to make an application. Continue, Dr. Kamuna. Yeah, my Lord, I'm actually showing one sentence. <coughs> when you read the books, I have referred to the authorities in America. The judges have gone out, made a finding about this one. Yes, this is a bit of so and so is good. But we shall not go ahead. We shall do it. So that's all I'm saying to you. You have heard, you have come up with a very ambitious session, a ruling of all of the students, and uh, particularly my land Lord Kasim uh, Roma has come up with something that I had not thought of so much at all. But all that I'm, that I'm saying to you that you agree, but you still have the discretion to say that look, we are not doing, we are still at our findings, but still we are going ahead to give conservative orders for so many days or so many weeks. So you still have that discretion. For the sake of the country. Thank you. Brief response. May, may I kindly, my name is Sam Yaberi. I appear for the ninth petitioner in the second cohort. My Lord, uh, I stand to make an application for stay of the orders that have been issued uh, this afternoon relating to the application that was before you and having keenly listened and internalized the import of that uh, ruling or order, my Lord, we wish to move the court, much as we have that opportunity by way of uh, the orders that were given, that we were given a uh, right to appeal, that pending the appeal, pending the lodging of the appeal, my Lord, uh, my Lord and my Lady, you allow us that opportunity of stay so that we can ventilate our issues before the appellate court. My Lord, what informs this, this application is that there is an apparent risk by the fill-up of the position of the Deputy President. And in our petition, we had named the Professor Kigura Kindiki as an, a party in the petition that we had filed uh, for the ninth petitioners. So that, my Lord, having analyzed and internalized that, we feel that the petition in the fullness of time when the court is going to process it, will be, we will be dealing with an issue that perhaps will uh, compromise the rights of uh, the ninth petitioner who has moved uh, the court. And, my Lord, the other issue is that there is a period within which the respondents, if they have to move, they have to fill up that position of the deputy president. So that, my lord, there is no any prejudice that will be occasioned to the second respondent if the orders of stay get issued. Because by close of business today, my lord, we are going to the notice, and that notice by itself acts as an appeal, and in the fullness of time, we shall be processing the application before the appellate court for appropriate orders to issue. My Lord, I therefore associate myself with the, my colleagues on the application for stay so that we don't have the proceedings before you in the fullness of time when we come to converse the petition to be rendered negatory or academic. My Lord, you have the discretion and we ask and beseech you to exercise that discretion in the favor of the ninth petition. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, I would like to make an application under Article 1.1 directly. Is my lady? 